Hello there, how are you doing? Um, this is Yikao Dre again on Guy Talk. Hope you're having a great week. Um, I want to welcome all those who are subscribing for the first time, new subscribers. Yeah, thumbs up to you guys. Um, please, if you've not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash the button. Make sure you like this video share this video hit the notification bell so yeah you know when i come up with a new video all right now let's get into this um i whenever i come into europe i i um i meet people who say they don't believe in god they are atheists and i meet believers who always wonder what so what do i do how do i how do i get to um witness to such people and um, I was talking to a gentleman um, recently, a Christian brother. He said that in his workplace, he, he, he's somewhere here in um, Europe, that in his workplace, he meets people who tell him that God doesn't exist. If God exists, why are, is there so much evil in the world? So have you ever asked yourself that question that if God really exists, so why is there, why is there famine? Where are there wars? Where, why are there despots like um, Adolf Hitler and why do, does God allow babies to die? Uh, oh, if God is in charge of everything, then he must, everything must be in a mess. What kind of God is that? So therefore God doesn't exist. No. You've got to understand that there's a system and there's a process, there's a procedure by which things operate. God created the heavens and the earth and when he did that he gave it to his man adam and what happened adam handed over um, this planet he handed it over to the devil and because he handed it over to the devil that's where there's a lot of evil now in this world god is not the author of confusion and evil but God respects law and order. And because God respects law and order, He will not allow um, things just to uh, be hijacked from the devil anyhow. So there's a lease God gave Adam. That lease that God gave to Adam um, is still on. But Adam has subleased, as it were, the entire planet over to the devil. Until that time is gone, is up. God cannot just come and start ruling over this planet. How do we know that? When Jesus Christ was casting out some devils, the devil said, have you come to torment us before the time? So there's a time in which these devils, Satan and the devils, will have no authority again on this planet. But until that time, uh, they can rule, they can run rampant, simply because they, they have been given that authority because the Adamic lease is still on now. We can control things to a certain extent. We can determine what happens. We can determine how far evil can go in our own lives um, by us giving our lives to Christ, number one. Learning to pray, number two. Learning to use our authority as a believer, number three, to push back darkness. And you'll find that these evils that is rampaging all over this planet, they will back off from our own lives and that is what happened so you may wonder like i i heard of someone an atheist who said that there was a time he saw a whole hall crash down on the heads of little children eight year olds and they all perished in the storm and that's why i believe that god does not exist no 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 no, no. god exists but it was not god that crashed that it was not the work of god that was satan that did that but if somebody had been around that place praying and using the authority, then some of this evil, this kind of evil should have been avoided. God would have been invited in to intervene. God is a perfect gentleman. He will not intervene except he is invited in. And so that is the answer to that question. That if God he really exists, why is there evil in the world? He exists. He's a good God. He handed over the planet to, the, to Adam and Eve. They handed over to the devil for this period of leaves. And guess what? That time will soon come when the rapture will take place. Time will be no more. A new heaven and new earth will take place. Satan and all evil will be thrown 
into the lake of fire together with those that refuse to accept Jesus. Have you accepted Jesus? I'm stopping here for now. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell. Until I see my next video, this is Yinka Ojo, Guy Talk, saying, stay blessed. Bye.